Okay, so to create a great free web page, you'll want to go to education.weebly.com. So this part right here, education.weebly.com. Um, and then you are going to create an account. Create a username for yourself, a password, e email, accept the terms of use, and sign up. Once you've done that and logged in, you're going to see your dashboard that looks like this. The only thing different is I have three sites already created. You'll have my sites, your students, because you can create student accounts, your domains, billing, account, and support. And this is completely free um, for educators, unless you can also do some upgrades. So I'm going to click on Add a Site. And the first step is going to be creating a design for my web page. Oh, I'm sorry. First, we're going to enter a title. Um, what type of site? And this is also hard because you're going to have to have a unique URL. So if someone else already has that one, you'll have to keep trying. This is an education one. What category? Teacher, class project, whatever it is. And click continue. Now, if you want the free one, you're going to use the Weebly domain and try out to see if it's already taken. Okay, Wildflowers is already taken, but I'm in the gig group, and I bet that isn't taken yet. Nope, it's not. Wildflowers gig. And then I'm going to click continue. Again, it's going to have to be something unique. So maybe your last name associated with it, or use numbers like Ed2Go with a number 2 or something like that might trip it up and make it so that it works. And mine's taking a little minute here. Okay, here she comes. And just a little note about browsers. I'm using Internet Explorer and sometimes that can be a little cranky. Um, you can also use Chrome or Mozilla Firefox and see if those work better. Okay, when this opens up, you're going to see that you have tabs across the top and some items down the side. And we're going to click on Design to start, it, start her off and pick a design that you like. You'll notice that you also have different colors associated with different designs. So you can pick a design and then pull down to the color of the design that you like. The next thing that we're going to do is click on pages. And the reason we're going to click on pages is we're going to create different pages for our wildflowers. So there's our home page. That's all set up. That's perfect. Click add a page and you can do a standard page most likely is the best one. Um, for us and we have to give a name to this. So I'm going to call this one yellow flowers. Actually, let me I'm going to do white. White first. White flowers. And I'm going to save the settings. Then I'm going to come up here and add another page. Another standard page. And this time I'm going to do yellow flowers. And I think the maximum number of pages is 5. Just just so you know. Save my settings, and I'm not sure if you can just add one after another if that works or not. Now I'm going to do uh, pink flowers. We're going to find out here in a minute how many I can do. And then I'm going to do blue and purple flowers. Add a page, standard page, and I'm going to do blue slash blue, purple flowers. <clears throat> and we can always edit these later and save the settings. Let's make sure it's going to allow me to do that. Okay, so here's my page and I can see I have my home. I have my white flowers, yellow, pink, and blue and purple. I notice that I'm missing red flowers. So I think I'm going to go back into pages and I'm going to click add a page, standard page, and type in red flowers <clears throat> and save those settings. I'm going to move the red flowers up just after the pink flowers. There we go. Okay, and that's going to get us started with our pages. And then we're going to start adding elements, and I'm going to talk about that in part two.